can't trust a word that comes out of Vincalvo's mouth. Remember that. Ah, you are here. Good. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind will serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Science of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a Moth Priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a Moth Priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. It will be done, my lord. Most interesting. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Not at this rate, no. Life here has many advantages.
Need a ride? It's one of them Imperial scholars, right? Old man with a gray robe. Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Oh, yes. I remember your moth priest now. He wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Don't like those eyes you've got. There's a bad hunger to them. I grew up an orphan on the streets of Markham. At a low growth restaurant, when I met Michelle, I knew this is where I belong. Mean-spirited folk. A moth priest? Try asking one of the guards. Good day. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, and you're free to go. Ah, so that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop. Just headed south across the Dragon Bridge. All right then.
Someone's there. Now you're mine. <laughs> divines. It's as if my eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. I... I must obey you. What would you have of me, master? Certainly. Where can I find this castle? I will set out at once, then. Still here? What do you want me to carry? should have come here. Mercy! 
Well done. Somehow I knew it would be you and Serana who found our moth priest. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult to task. They are determined and well armed, but foolish if they... Your obedience. Well done. Yes, I see. They are determined. Well. Your thrall awaits, and we have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear the words of prophecy together. You're welcome here. I knew I heard something. As long as you don't know Master, I have done as you asked and traveled here. Of course. What is it that you need me to do? I try and leave Master, the needs of everyone. Here. I have done as you asked and traveled here. Of course. What? Ah, yes, the Elder Scroll. I admit, I am looking forward to this. Of course, Master. I now, wish all fields and Vindana would just get it over quiet, with and kill each other. I must concentrate. Ugh, I'm tired I of see them. a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriole's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. That was not as useful as I would have liked. Even so, you did well. My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last that I heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwemer ruin. It seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. Thank <laughs> you. 